The Procreate time-lapse feature is a fantastic way to record, save and share your process. But before you get started, there are a few settings you absolutely need to know. Time-lapse recording is activated by default whenever you create a new canvas. But to make sure your recording is going to be the best quality possible, I recommend creating your own canvas and tweaking the settings. So you can do that by tapping on the plus right here on the top right, and then selecting the custom canvas option right here. Then you can just pick whatever size canvas you want, as usual, nothing special here. But before you tap on create, make sure you go ahead and check the time-lapse settings right here on the left. By default, it should be set to 180p with good quality. And if your goal is just to share your time-lapse on social media, you could keep it just like that. But if you want to use it, for example, in a YouTube video or something that you know you need a higher resolution and better quality, this is where you would pick the settings. And as this is a time-lapse that Procreate is recording from the start, obviously you cannot change those settings later down the road. So you need to make sure you take the time to do it while you create your canvas. Once that is done though, you can just tap on create and it's going to create your canvas as usual. Now let's say you want to import a picture to use as a reference, for example, but you don't want that picture to be in the final time lapse. There is a hidden way to import both photos and files as secret layers. And to do that, you start the same way you would import a regular file or photo, so wrench icon menu, add some menu, but instead of just tapping on whichever option you want, depending on where the file is in your iPad, you would swipe the option towards the left with one finger, which is going to open up that new little secret option, insert a private photo. Whatever you import through this method is going to be on a separate layer and whatever is on that layer is not going to show up in the final time lapse. And from there, as long as you're drawing on a layer that is not private, Procreate is going to record a time lapse of your art process. Now let's say for some reason there is a part of the process you don't want to have in the time lapse and you don't want to edit post production. You can pause the time lapse by going in the wrench icon menu, this time in the video sub menu. You can deactivate the time lapse recording toggle right here. But be careful, it's going to ask you if you want to purge the video. If you select purge, it's going to erase everything it's recorded so far. This is not what we want. If we just want to pause the recording, you're just going to select don't purge. And from there, you can draw whatever it is not going to be recorded in the final time lapse, as long as the recording is paused, obviously. Now, once you're ready to record again, just go back in the wrench icon menu and reactivate the time lapse recording. And from there again, you can just draw whatever until you're ready to export your final file. And I'm going to mention it, otherwise I'm going to get a bunch of questions I already know. If you want to learn how I practice drawing faces just like this one, I do have a video about the process as well as the proportions I use, so I will link that in the description below if you want to check it out after you're done with this video, if that's something you're curious about. Once you're done and you're ready to save or export your video, just go back to the wrench icon menu. In the video set menu, select export time-lapse video. And here you can choose between either full length or 30 seconds. 30 seconds is going to be a compressed, quicker version of your process. I usually pick full length. I just, that's my personal preference. And then from there, you can decide where to save your video. I like the save video option right here. It's just going to save the video, the time lapse within your camera roll on your iPad, just like any old regular video. And there it is. As you can see, Procreate didn't include either the reference picture or the word paused, but otherwise we have the full sketching time lapse. If you want to learn more Procreate tips and tricks, I highly recommend you check out this playlist because I have a bunch more videos for you. But before you leave, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the weekly videos I post every Tuesday and Saturday. Then click on the link right here and I'll meet you there.